Pro Football Weekly is taking a look at all of the top free agents. Right now we're focused in on Mario Williams. And as far over the cap as the Texans are right now, is there any chance that he comes back and plays in Houston again next year? I think it's a minimal chance. Right now they're working up their best offer for Williams and his agent Ben Dogra. The problem is that Williams and his agent Ben Dogra know, you know the value of Williams. They know that the Texans are kind of hamstrung and may not have the, the resources available to make him the highest paid defender in the NFL, which is really what could happen if he goes elsewhere. So I think they're working up the numbers right now they're getting ready to put the best offer in front of him before he hits the open market before he goes and finds some of those other suitors with a little bit more cash to spend so um, I guess the long-winded answer is I think it's going to be a real challenge. If he does go somewhere else we saw that last year he started to play and uh, linebacker in the 3-4 he's played N in a 4-3 before which kind of situation or kind of scheme do you think best fits him? Well, I think that's certainly raised his value is him showing the versatility, the ability to play both. I think in an ideal world, you're probably still looking at him as a 4-3 end. I just I think that's what he's been doing for most of his career. Obviously, we saw a pretty seamless transition, but it was really a small sample size in five weeks. So I think ideally 4-3 teams are the best fit. But uh, again, he has shown the flexibility, the ability to pay, uh, play in an odd front as well. I guess the more options you can give yourself, the more money it'll mean in the end. So if he doesn't end up in Houston, what do you think makes, makes the most sense for him? Well, I'll give you one team in the AFC South, the Jacksonville Jaguars, who have almost as much money as anyone to spend and pretty much as great of a need as anyone. They've been looking for a pass rushing defensive end for years. So I think that's one possibility. If you get outside the division, you've heard the Patriots as a possibility. Um, you know, they need pass rush help. They've got the money to spend. It would just be like the rich get richer if he ended up there. Um, those are a couple possibilities. The Seattle Seahawks out on the other coast I could see as an option. They may be one or two pieces away. And that's another team where we've heard a bit of rumblings if they can free up the necessary cap space to make it happen. Yeah, you figure it's going to take a lot of cap space. He's going to require a lot of money. We know Julius Peppers a couple years ago got a huge deal. you got to figure Mario Williams is right in line with that. You can see the latest of what's going on with Mario as he goes through free agency right here at ProFootballWeekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the Draft tab at ProFootballWeekly.com.